Sexy red. <laughs> yeah. And Yo, hey, she going crazy, bro. You got to give her her flowers, bro. She going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hate her. Yeah, that's uh, uh, she, she, she's delivering a whore spirit amongst young girls. She, she's introducing. We've had a gangster spirit. The gangster spirit damn near wiped the young black males out. This whole spirit, this whole spirit is fit to do a number on the young black girl. And I already got the boys. They never had focus on black girls before. The powers to be, the tools of white supremacy have never just strictly targeted black girls. They first started targeting black girls with imagery, saying, black girl, you're not pretty if you don't have white girl hair. Those were symbolic things that they were doing. Now, now they're stripping the black girl of the, the black man had already shamed the black woman's image to the world by way of rap lyrics. Bitch, ho, suck my dick, pouring beer on her in the rap videos. So that's why Miss Dolores C. Tucker came out and said, hold up, y'all, we this misogyny music. So that's why she came out and did. She saw what it was doing, right? So now we're at a point now, uh, if a black woman is raped, she's going to be questioned compared to a white woman. They're going to automatically think a white, a black girl wants it. So what we're going to start seeing because of the imagery of sexy red, we're going to start back seeing white boys getting drunk, uh, getting their trucks, going back into the black community, snatching up the sexy red looking black girl or, or, or booking one prostitute for a, a, a sexy red. It, it, it's going to get ugly on me for the black girl. So the black girl is going to start being raped more. She's going to start being publicly brutalized like the woman who was hit in the head with the rock. All of this imagery makes it easy for a black woman to get hit in the head with a rock and we all stand around and look at it. Because she's, she, she's being demeaned. She's being degraded in such a way you'll start spitting on her. Turning that booty over and that pussy up, putting your head to the ground, making your ass to the world. Man, listen, black girls are gonna start being molested at a rate that you guys have not seen like no other because of the imagery. Because little black girls is for the start becoming sexually explicit. To sing the songs of Brown Booty Hole, little black girls is for the start becoming more enticing to, to pedophiles. Mm. Uh, 12 year old homosexual boys is for the start having grown homosexual because they're gonna be more like the, the music, homie. The music. Uh, Satan have always existed in music. Lucifer, the devil, darkness have always lived through music. That's why it's always been a parental advisory and it's always been, man, kids ain't supposed to cut it out. Because what, what, it, what the darkness inside of you, whether those are your desires or, or, or whatever, are usually activated in music. That's why a nigga play love songs, sex songs, it, 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 it can be activated in music. So uh, these elements are, are being deposited, homie, in our children because they get to hear this shit. They get to see this shit. Uh, and not only that, they watch the rewards of it. So I, I, I just read a question where somebody asked Sexy Red something about why she always carrying money around. She said that she carry a lot of money around because it's her emotional pit. Do you know how many young girls will now be tricked because a nigga got a lot of money can show them? I used to trick girls like that. I'm the little hoe in the hood. I'll take $2,000 and go get $400 worth of one. 
200 all the way up to five, some 20s and 10s. And I'll make $2,000 look like $20,000 to a poor motherfucker. It start, and so we don't know, the kids don't know that a black motherfucker walk around with a wad of money but really don't have no power because cash money have become really obsolete. Uh, no person with power hoards cash. Nobody. No person with power and influence hoards cash on them. I agree. And and and, and if she's using this tool and element as, as as an emotional support, then she loves money. And for the love of money is the root of all evil. A nigga who loves money will get broke and fuck a punk for some money. A nigga who loves money will rob his homeboy when he get mad at him because he loves money. Nigga who loves money, nigga, a damn near kill mama for the insurance money. So when you hear somebody say money is their emotional support, uh, what happens when you ain't got this money? You do whatever to get it. And you can't tell me that little girl ain't done whatever to get it. Whatever record executive done played in her pussy. Whatever producer done go make a lay on a producer's couch. I heard Asante give a whole interview about how one of the bigger producers in the game just wanted her to take, wanted her to take a shower with him. Could have got off of what? But because she wouldn't, he charged her over for the track. So nigga, you think she ain't fucking and sucking? You think when them white boy got her down off on them motherfucking sidelines, didn't Robert Kraft get caught in the whorehouse? The motherfucker that went and got Meek Mills out of jail, didn't he get caught in the whorehouse the Super Bowl weekend? They like that. They like these young hoes. So it's no different during slavery. When a bunch of drunk slave masters say, hey, man, go get some of Master William, that gal down there, that big butt, that gal. And the big butt gal slave girl come open up their booties and their pussies and let these white men have it. It's no difference now, nigga. If you get in the industry, you're a slave. You're a slave to the industry, the music industry. If you go into Hollywood, you a slave to Hollywood. That's why these Hollywood people are losing their houses while they don't strike. But they're not talking about it. The rappers are the slaves. So if you think these little girls ain't coming in here with these lyrics, looking how they looking at these parties, they ain't getting fucked. Y'all think, I mean, come on now. Y'all think these sick-minded ass people at the highest heights with all this money ain't digging in their booty all they rapping about? Y'all keep playing crazy if y'all want to. That's why I don't want in.